Alrighty then, friends and enemies. Let's do this one, shall we? Here we go. I'm sure you're all sick of hearing about the very public implosion of Jack Murphy at this point. I know I am. Well, actually I'm not because truth be told, I didn't know anything whatsoever about this until I got this video we're watching right now sent to me by Edward. And I watched it and I said, yeah, you know, this this is funny. Let's talk about this on the podcast. It's, it's low-hanging fruit. It's almost fruit that says low-hanging as a female atheist. So I'm not going into great depth here. If you want the full story, then go watch the quartering. But as a brief synopsis for the purpose of this video, Jack Murphy, real name John Goldman, a self-professed alpha... Wait, Goldman? Okay, do, do we even need to do the echo? A male giga-chad masculinity expert was charging men $99 a month to be an exclusive member of his private internet chat room, The Liminal Order. I, all right, look. I can say this now or I can say this later. Let me just say it now, because the guy is going to go forward here and he's going to point out, you know, how this is the same as OnlyFans and all this other stuff. Look, stupid people have money so that smart people can take it away from them. I mean, if you're dumb enough to pay $99 a month to type stuff into a chat room, I don't have a lot of sympathy for you. I mean, on one hand, I think that Jack Murphy... And by the way, I've never heard of Jack Murphy in my life, okay? And I didn't watch any of these other videos to get the full story. So just, you know, full disclaimer, full disclosure. Everything I know about this is from this video. I have no idea who this fucking guy is. But if there's people willing to give him $99 a month, he should take their money. So we'll, we'll talk about this more in depth as the video goes forward. Where he would supposedly teach you to be a better, more alpha manly man. And that's not even getting into all of the expensive live meetup events he ran, admission to which was not included in his organization's base membership fee. Well, turns out that this self-professed mask- And this is, and this is a cult of personality, essentially, right? This is- all right, let's go ahead and get into it now. This is exactly like OnlyFans. What is OnlyFans? OnlyFans is women taking financial advantage of men who are desperate for attention. That's exactly what this is. This is men desperate for attention. <clears throat> As the creator of this video, who I, I also don't know who the creator of this video is. I mean, I know who he is <clears throat> in the sense that wait where is it oh i don't have it i don't have it up anymore but yeah i know who he is in the sense that he's got a channel on odyssey where i watch the video and he's got a username and he did some of the i don't know anything about this guy either people want attention and if they can't get attention, they'll pay for it, right? That's what OnlyFans is. It's a bunch of simps paying women to pay attention to them. And this, you know, Illuminati $99 a month chat room run by a Jew who's going to teach you how to be a man, it's the same thing. These are a bunch of simps who want attention, now, this Jack Murphy guy may say things that are true, but let's be honest, most of this information is available for free on the interwebs. I mean, especially at this point. Once again, guys, there's only so many things that can be said about being, you know, an alpha or masculine or a chad or, you know, however the fuck you want to phrase it, right? Being a man. There's really only, you could probably distill it down to about 25 bullet points. You know, it's like with the, with the meeting girl shit. I'm getting way ahead of myself here. But so in 
preparing for this video, I went and I watched a video or part of a video by these fresh and fit guys. They'll come up later in the... Okay, so I'm watching this video and this is this guy talking about how to meet women at the gym. Okay, and everything he says in the seven minutes or so that I watched, everything he said was true. But it's nothing. He's like, don't meet women at the gym that you go to because you don't want to shit where you eat. I'm like, well, okay, as much as I kind of don't like that because I like the convenience of meeting women at the gym I go to, yes, you'll get you'll get pigeonholed as that guy. You don't shit where you... Okay, so he's right. Then he's like, here's how you talk, start conversations with girls. You either say something about them that's not true so they can respond to it or you say something... What do you say? Like you say something to them about their form or whatever, which I'm like, eh, or he says, or you, you do something else. I don't even remember. Okay. But that's not the important part. Here's the important part. Everything he said was true. Everything he said is available for free on the internet. And everything he said was first said about 20 years ago. There is no new information here. I have not discovered this myself. Other people, including our friend Adam Pinkett, have talked about this. How there's nothing, you know, there's all these people in the manosphere trying to, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to say this, and you're going to pay for this, I'm going to give you exclusive content. Guys, go to the gym, pick up heavy objects, create value for other people, learn new skills, talk to girls, be funny, be interesting. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's no new information. There's nothing out there that's worth $99 a fucking month. Nothing. 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 Okay. No, Jack Murphy has nothing that is worth $99 a month. No one, I mean no one. Adam Piggott doesn't have anything worth $99 a month. Aaron Clary doesn't have anything that's worth $99 a month. Rolo Tomasi has not a fucking thing that's worth $99 a month. I do not have a goddamn thing. That is worth $99 a fucking month. Go to the gym. Talk to girls. Don't be a loser. That's it. It's not going to change. There's nothing new to say. It's been fucking said. This is OnlyFans for fucking loser simps. That's all it is. Masculinity expert had a colourful history of promoting actual cuckoldry and was also publicly streaming gay porn where he would do degrading things to himself on Chatterbait for cash tips. Of course he was. He's bald, he's got a big bushy beard, of course he's a faggot. Of course he's a cuck. Once again, the harder they try, the harder they try, the more likely it is there's something in the closet. As late as 2019. And look, <laughs> if that's your kink, that's fine. The world needs porn, so you wait, do wait. you, bud. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tips as what is his real name? Sexy Ray XO and Big Bad Beard. <laughs> Big Bad Beard. <laughs> this is a guy this is a guy that men are getting advice from on how to be masculine i'm i listen to i'm big bad beard 1000 <laughs> i work as a chatterbait model <laughs> i am really interested in men women trans couples but also open to new experiences <laughs> $99 a month, guys. $99 a month. <laughs> He's interested in trans. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. Oh, once again, 
I didn't discover this. This has been talked about for how long now? How the grifters have moved into the red pillosphere. How the red pillosphere has tr totally transformed from this place where people are enlightening each other with the truth and exchanging their stories and comparing notes and doing pattern recognition, you know, and figuring out what's going on. It that's not what the red pillosphere is anymore. It is now literally Hitler homosexual and trannies grifting simps telling them shit like I'm going to teach you how to be a man in my online chat forum for $99 a month that's what the red pillosphere is today in the retarded dystopia year three. Publicly streaming gay and it's porn, been that way for a while. he would do degrading things to himself on Chatterbait for cash tips as late as 2019 and look if that's your kink, that's fine. The world needs porn, so you do you, it buddy. It does. I, I but like porn. But you can't Porn's have good. it both ways. You can't live that lifestyle and also try to publicly paint yourself as a conservative masculinity expert who espouses... An expert? What the fuck is a masculinity expert? Does he actually call himself an... Hold on. So let's bounce over here real quick. So here's his Jack Murphy... Here's his website where he's, I guess, pretending none of this has happened. Uh, the About Me. He's the founder of the Illuminati Order or whatever. Oh, he's got a podcast. Guys, the United States Postal Service has a podcast. No one cares about your fucking podcast. He's a writer. Everybody's a writer. He's a speaker. Whoa, he's a speaker. And he wrote a book about Democrats. I mean, whoa, so exciting. A book about Democrats. He has a BA in economics from George Mason University and a master's degree. Whoa, ba master's preferred, ba or which is it? Bachelor's, ba bachelor's required, master's preferred. He has a master, wait, that not that racist, master's? He's got a master's degree from the Georgetown School of Foreign Service. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but that sounds like some kind of fly-by-night thing. Is this the Georgetown School? What's this? Welsh School of... Oh, G Georgetown University? Graduate Education for International Studies? Vision for Global Development? What I mean, is this... Uh, at, uh, diversity, equality, and inclusion. Wow, fantastic. I mean, so you got... went. To, is this where you went? Look, there's pictures... Is this... This has got to be... <sighs> Over the last 20 years, Jack Murphy has built homes, schools, institutions, and communities. Apparently, he's also had gay sex on the internet. He was in international finance, where he worked for a high-yield hedge fund. Wow, man, this guy's awesome, right? I mean, he must be. Look at all the stuff he's done. All right, anyway, let's get back to the video. But just no, he he's he's very studly. He's high finance guy. He's educated. He's built homes. Supposedly traditional values. Going so far as to actually commission pathetic self-insert comics, complete like, with merchandising. Like what, what's seriously, this, what's dude? This taco what shit. What the fuck am I even looking at? What's this taco shit? Like I'm I'm serious. What's the taco thing? Because I've seen the taco thing before. Like the the taco. What's with Taco? Bert, ...who espouses supposedly traditional values. Going so far as to actually commission pathetic self-insert... All right, hang on. Little Chad, Uncle Jack should be here any minute. Oh, uh, it's supposed to be him. I think you mean Uncle Jacked. The guy hasn't changed since college. Uncle Jack, Chad Master... That is... What? The Chad Master... The Chad Master has arrived. All may rejoice. He's calling himself the Chad Master. Okay, here's another question. This is this is real. I, I get like Chad, you know, Chad, we, we use it. It's like Kevin in sales. Is there any, any of you, any of you who listen, have any of you ever referred to yourself as Chad? I mean, that's just... Once again, like if somebody came up to me and was like, hey, I'm the Chad master. I would back away from them because that's like announcing you're gay. 
I, I can't really explain why. This is purely an emotional response. I'm just telling you, if someone came up, yo, dog, Chad Master is in the house. Okay, well, I'm going to be over here, and I would appreciate it if you didn't touch me. It's just, who, who calls themselves the Chad Master? What just happened? Sorry, Jack, she just moved in with us. It's hard to explain. So this this character who also thinks he's a Chad, because you can tell, because the way the character is drawn, he's supposed to be masculine, right? So why did this masculine guy let this blue-haired freak move into his house? Okay, if you if you think you're masculine, and there's a blue-haired feminist living in your house with you, you're not masculine. This is pretty basic shit. I shouldn't have to explain this on a podcast. Uncle Jack, Aunt Karen can't even do a set of squats. Thanks, little Chad. I understand now. Awesome. Want to see my dad's new fishing pole. I mean, it's it's not really funny. It's not entertain. It's not. It, it's just like it's some homosexual guys. One of them has a taco T-shirt on. Comics complete with merchandise. Taco. Seriously, dude. Uh, oh, hey, Todd. Uncle Jacked, always showing off. I should go tell him what I think. Hey, Todd, I didn't know you. Your aunt invite when Chad comes over to my house, we always do fun stuff. Yeah, mom says when you it's your job to play with them. What I mean, what? So this is like at someone's house. Again, so this this thing is wearing a shirt that says feminist and this one's got like a power. Like, why are you at an event where these people are there? I don't go to places where people who wear feminist t shirts hang out. And I don't even have a big bushy beard. And I didn't work in finance. And I haven't built houses. I mean, how much of a man can this guy be? It's not a rhetorical question. I want an answer. What the fuck am I even looking at? I here? don't know. What the fuck are we that looking at? That is what at? we call hypocrisy. And when you make money from it, that is what we call a scam. It is what a scam. What initially seemed like a past, albeit embarrassing indiscretion, quickly spiraled into a truly glorious public relations clusterfuck thanks to Jack's total inability to maintain frame bro, bro. which resulted in an- Also, I don't know what that clip is from, but it's him talking to a woman. Let's get, let's, we, I've said this before. Let me say it again. I, I'm not interested in a, a woman's opinion. I, I'm a masculine guy. Why are you talking to a woman? Are you interviewing her? If you're interviewing a woman on your show, you're not a man. Are you being interviewed by her? Okay, if you are, then are you slamming her ass in the dirt? Because that's what you should be doing if you have a public forum where a woman is embarrassing self, herself by trying to ask you questions. <sighs> I posted revenge porn of my wife. How does how does somebody else how does somebody else have uh, pictures of your wife naked? Epic Stry's ending of the whole situation. You know, once Kiwi Farms get involved, it's all over Red Rover. The problem That's true. is that whilst it's funny to continue, I probably should go over to Kiwi Farms and see what they have to say about him over there. Milking this 2021 low cow of the year, there are some very important aspects of this drama that I really don't see being discussed. Now let's get to the first substance. of all. I think it's broadly being overlooked exactly how successful this scam of his was. Claiming to have roughly 700 members, each paying as much as $99 a month, Jack Murphy was potentially clearing up to $832,000 US dollars per year pre-tax. Whether or not he paid tax at all is unknown. Once again, if you can fuck that many people out of that much money, it's hard for me to say he shouldn't. It really is. It's hard for me to say he's a bad person for taking $99 a month away from a bunch of simps. It's really hard for me to say that because they're simps. It's like if you hit a woman, okay? Oh my God, you hit a woman. Whoa, 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 hold on. What did the woman do 
in the 30 seconds before you hit her, right? I, we, we've been through down this road before, right? I mean, nobody just gets up and walks in the other room and hits their bitch. The bitch usually does something prior to the part where she gets hit. But we don't want to talk about that. I mean, these people gave him $99 a month. Okay, what, if, what was going on in these people's lives that they are so pathetic and desperate and they don't know how to fucking just read information on the internet for free that they're willing to unass $99 a month? It's a hard for me to feel sorry for these people. Much of the so I'm also jealous. Let's just be honest. I'm jealous. I wish I could charge 700 people $99 a month to be in a chat room. Let's be brutally honest. I'm jealous. Bob's story justification for his unearthed indiscretions center around him being in a dark place. I'm in a dark place, just like a goddamn woman. Well, you know, I'm not responsible. I can't be held accountable for what I did. I was in a dark place. See, guys, I had some feels. I had feels, everybody. Now, let's actually read this. I actually have not read this. Guys, there is more bad news coming out about me. I'm sorry after I got canceled from my real life job and career. But wait, if you were so awesome and power broker and girl boss and all this other stuff, why did you get fired? I mean, aren't you important enough to the company that they'd be well? And okay, so you're working for a bunch of leftists. Why are you working for leftists? I mean, if you're so fucking amazing and you're going to teach other men how to be masculine for $99 a month, can't you at least go get a job for somebody who votes Republican? Sorry, after I got canceled from my real life job and career. And, and if you're making, if you're charging 700 people $99 a month, why do you need a real life job and career? If I could get 700 people to give me $99 a month, I'd never do another theater production in my life. Are you crazy? Things were dark. Oh, they were dark. We didn't have any money coming in and there were no jobs. All right, now hold it. Stop, 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 stop. 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 So he's got a BA in economics. He's got a master's from the Georgetown School of Foreign Service, whatever that is, where he studied international finance and international affairs. Economics, international finance. So over the 20 years, he's built homes, his early career focused on finance, high yield fund, focus, hedge fund focused emerging markets. He developed real estate, building single family, multifamily and mixed use commercial products, charter school executive director. So he did all of that stuff. Did it not occur to him to save money? How do you do all of that stuff, which I'm assuming he was not making $14 an hour. How do you do all of that stuff and not save up enough money so that if you lose your job, you don't have to go into the dark and end up making gay porn on the internet to pay your rent. Would you, this is a real question, you, you right now listening to this podcast, listening to me yell at the internet, would you take advice from a man who had all that education and all those jobs and when he gets fired from his job, has no money in the savings account to pay his bills and hold out until he can do something else. I wouldn't because not saving money is not masculine. Right? Men, lift weights, talk to girls, create value for other people, learn new skills, spend less money than you make. You know, maybe I actually should like make the list 25 fucking things to be a man and just put it on the internet for free. And all of you fucking simps who want to give fucking bald headed bearded Jews like this $99 a month, 
You just give me, just give me ten bucks once. There, there, wh- Jesus Christ! I was about to say, how are you people so fucking dumb? It's a rhetorical question. I know the answer. Yeah, OnlyFans. I mean, it, it, this is OnlyFans for men. Okay. Uh, we didn't have any money coming in and there were no jobs. How could there be no jobs if you've got, you got two fucking diplomas and all these fucking skill set. You built houses. You're in, you're in high fun fed whatever the fuck it finance. How can you not get a job? And, and you're, once again, are you going to pay $99 a month for somebody who can't get a job to tell you how to be a man? Who the fuck? All right. I was lost and desperate, just like a woman. So I did what women do. I started an OnlyFans account. So my fiance and I did cam porn at home. People paid us to fuck on the couch. We made thousands of dollars and had sex with each other. Now, look. On, on one hand, I said, gotta be honest. It's a great one. We'll pay you to fuck your girlfriend. I'm like, well, I mean, it's kind of, once again, it's kind of hard to turn that down. In a way, I can't blame the guy if someone's like, hey, we're going to pay you to have sex with your fiance. I mean, I, you'd say, what's the catch? You got to put it on the internet. I mean, that is the catch. Now, would I fuck my girlfriend on the internet for money? The answer is yes. It just depends on how much money. Because everybody has their price, including me, especially me, right? There's another thing, a list of how to be a man. Just admit that you have a price and know what it is and set your price accordingly. Don't fuck on the internet for a thousand dollars because that's not going to do anything for you if you get busted. But someone's like, yeah, you fuck your girlfriend on the internet. We'll give you a million dollars. I'm like, yes. I mean, once again, let's be honest. Somebody came to me and said, great one. We'll give you a thousand dollars, not thousand, no, no. We'll give you a million dollars, one million dollars after taxes. So you specify all this, one million dollars after taxes, clear and free, million dollars in your account, no trust fund, no limits, taxes are paid. If you get on the internet and you suck Jack Murphy's cock until he comes and you swallow it. Yes, I'll do that. I had, that's my price. Yes. So just know your price and make sure it's worth it. Once again, million dollars? I don't give a shit. I'm set for the rest of my life. You're welcome. Thanks. Just know your price, guys. And don't sit here like, oh, I was lost and desperate. No, you're not lost and desperate. Your price was just really low. Those are two different things. You spent more money than you saved. Those are two different things. Okay. Oh, the things were dark. Oh, I was lost and desperate. No, you just have low standards. You didn't save any money. That's what's going on here. Let's stop with the drama. So my fiance and I did cam porn at home. People paid us to fuck on the couch. We made thousands of dollars and had sex with each other. So again, it's going to take more than thousands of dollars. It is shameful, and I am sorry that it is out there now. And I am sorry you have to deal with it. I understand if this is too much heat for you guys. See, here you go. I, this, this sounds just like something a woman would say. I understand if you can't handle a strong, independent woman like me. You know, I understand if this is too much heat for you guys, but this is it. This is my final washing, my final test, right, until the next little factoid about you comes out of the closet. I have grown, like like a woman, I have grown and changed so much since then. Did you find yourself? Did you discover yourself while you're out there? Is that what happened? Did you grow and change and find yourself? I have grown and changed so much since then. It was three years ago now. But the hate trolls have dug it up. The hate trolls. It's hate speech. They're trolls. They're trolls. They're not people who are pointing out that you shouldn't be teaching other men what it means to be masculine for $99 a month. No, no, no. They're hate trolls. 
God, he sounds like a fucking woman. The hate trolls have dug it all up and are going ape shit with it. My deepest apologies to you for any problems this may cause. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Uncle Albert. We couldn't do a single thing all day. I'm so sorry. Fucking After faggot. losing his job. However, as the drama continued to unfold, it was eventually revealed that the too-good-to-be-true story of Antifa doxing wasn't the whole story behind his job loss. Oh, and that he had actually been defrauding the local government school district he worked for to the tune of millions. And he didn't save any of that money. Okay, so he's getting paid a fat salary and he's defrauding the company he works for of money, and he's still not putting anything in the bank. What's he spending it all on? Gay porn? I mean, what's he doing with his fucking money? Why are you taking advice from him about how to be a man when he is spending more money than he makes? So perhaps the IRS should take a look-see into his current business dealings, but I digress. $832,000 per year is no small sum of money. That is 24 times the American median wage recorded for 2020. So how did this happen? How does Jack Murphy go from literal promoter of cuckoldry in Literal, Hitler, promoter of cucking. 2015, to gay chatterbait streamer in 2019, <laughs> to conservative masculinity expert in 2021? I can answer that question. Because the uh, red pill sphere is filled with very desperate simps. See, once again, let me, let me, let me approach it this way. It's not just the, the, for lack of a better word, the leaders and the experts in the red pill sphere have changed. But there's more to it than that. The general population... The, for lack of a better term, the commoners in the red pill sphere have also changed. I think, you know, 20 years ago or whatever, that's kind of a number I'm just throwing out. That's not based on a piece of research or something. But 20 years ago or, or whatever, you know, when Roosh started doing his pickup thing and when mystery was out there and when all of this, when again, when all the information started being exchanging, the people coming into the red pill sphere were, you know, disillusioned. They were angry. They were upset. They were rejected. But I think they were also, they were truth seekers. They were people with stories to tell and experiences to relate. And I would say that a high proportion of them were coming into the sphere seeking knowledge open-minded, exchanging information, trying to figure things out. And willing and able and even enthusiastic about doing the work, the physical work and the intellectual work to figure out, you know, what is wrong? Why am I not successful with women? You know, why can I not find a good woman? Why can I not find a good job? Why am I fucking up my finances? You know, why am I making stupid decisions? What is going on? How do I understand this? And what do I do about it? What's the work I have to do to change these things? Whereas now, I think if you look at the average person, the more than 50% of people who enter onto the red pill sphere, these are literally Hitler, these are weak willed simps who are looking for quick fixes, who are looking to be told what they want to hear, who are looking for affirmation that there's nothing wrong with them and they don't need to do any work, that it's everything else that's fucked up. And yes, everything else is fucked up, okay? Every, there, the stuff around you and I, like whatever you're just stop what you're doing right now, look around, just put your head up and look to your left and then look over to your right and then look over behind you and look up. Everything you just saw is fucked up. Every bit of it, it's fucked up, okay? 
But that doesn't mean you and I don't have work to do on ourselves because we do. Because we can't fix what's around us. We can't fix the fucked up, right? The whole me whining about the people not showing up. I can't fix that. I can't fix people not showing up on time and I can't fix people cutting the shit to the wrong size. The only thing I can fix is me. You know, I can't fix women getting tattoos. I can't fix my country being invaded by pox. I can't fix the government printing money. All I can fix is me. I can go to the gym. I can talk to girls. I can spend less money than I make. That's all I can do. And the red pill sphere today is filled with weak-willed simps that want easy answers. And that's why charlatans like Jack Murphy can get $99 a month from these people. Because he, you're going to learn how to be a man by hanging out in his fucking chat room. I, quite honestly, I question whether or not you can be masculine and spend time in a chat room. Or on a forum. I, I, and this is just, this might be completely my personal bias. I admit that. Because I have self-awareness. Because I'm not a woman. And if, if I was a woman, I would know where the vagina is, unlike 45% of women. Because I'd be touching my vagina all the time if I was a woman. I, like hanging out on, hanging, like going, at, like go to a chat room and, and, or, a, or a, a forum and navigating through it and reading this shit and sitting there typing a response. My God, I hate that. I absolutely hate it. It is the most tedious, boring, uninteresting shit ever. Because 90% of it is just garbage. It's just retards looking for attention. And you got to filter through all this shit to get to the goddamn quality. Right? That's why I'll, I'll listen to podcasts and I'll read blogs because you've got an author or a podcaster and they're distilling their stuff down and you could ignore all the fucking stupid shit. But who in the fuck wants to hang out in a goddamn a forum or a chat room or whatever it is that he's charging $99 a month? Who's got time for that? All right, let's get going here. I said, let's get going here. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's try that one more time. Appearing on successful mainstream podcasts such as Timcast IRL, as well as The Rubin Report. And All right, hold on. Main successful podcast. I don't know who Tim Pool is, but I'm sure he's gay. And The Rubin Report, this guy is gay. You are here, which both operate under the banner of Glenn Beck's Blaze TV. Another homosexual. That is an exceptionally steep rise to prominence. Literal cuck to appearing on Glenn Beck programs in six years. So wait, hold on. I'm confused. Are you saying there's a difference between being a cuck and being on Glenn Beck's programs? Because as far as I can tell, those are the same thing. Now, some of you might be saying, but great one. You like Eric July. Isn't Eric July on Glenn Beck's Blaze Media. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Eric July, as far as I know, has not been outed for being a cuck yet, though. I hope he never is, because I, I do enjoy the guy's stuff a lot. He's a very smart man. Whilst raking in almost a million dollar online income to boot. How did this happen so quickly, with nobody seeming to notice until now, that something was terribly wrong with this man's credentials? I can answer that question. It's because, again, the red pill sphere is so completely saturated with charlatans that we, we, right, there's nobody in the red pill sphere to vet any of this stuff anymore. They're all charlatans. None of them are going to expose one another as being a charlatan because they all need each other to lie about each other about how masculine they are. Right? They're, they're the honor among thieves. I don't know if this phenomenon already has a name, but I'm just going to call this the OnlyFans effect. To quote Doug Stanhope, Sometimes the American news is like a tired old whore that only tells you what you want to hear. It really yes. blows my mind that yes. in news pieces and interviews, OnlyFans cam whores, and let's be clear about this, they are not 
content creators. No, they're, they're not. Skillfully crafting content to be enjoyed. They are live streaming porn and doing degrading things to themselves to get cash tips from desperate punters watching them in real time. Exactly. They, 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 yes. They are not creating any kind of fucking quality stuff. They are whores. They are quite... And, and that's the thing. We could say the same thing about all these people in the fucking red pill sphere. Anyway, we'll get to it. Literally online prostitutes. But to their credit, in these news interviews, they are surprisingly open and transparent about the fact that, you know, as sex... Yes, because they can be because they're women, there's no consequences. They can say anything they want to say and their fans will continue to give them money because their fans are simps active women, they are disgusted and repulsed by their own subscriber base. As they should They promote be. a so-called girlfriend experience, claiming that this interaction is what sets them apart from regular porn, but outside OnlyFans, they openly admit that they would never actually date any of their followers. Right, of course they would It's wouldn't. amazing. And, and this, is not a I mean, this is not a surprise. We, of course they wouldn't. Because their followers are their betas, their orbitals. It's where they get their money from. And that's how people like Jack Murphy, that's exactly how Jack Murphy looks at the people who are giving him $99 a month to be in a chat room. He's not, he's, these are, you're not his friend, right? And I think that's a big part of it too. Just like the OnlyFans simps think that they're buying a girlfriend. They think they're getting a girlfriend. These people give money to someone like Jack Murphy. They think they're getting a friend. They think they're getting a mentor. You know, they, are, they think it's like religion. They think that Jack Murphy is looking out for me and he cares about me and this guy's my friend. No, you're just a simp, dude. Jack Murphy is not going to hang out with you in real life. I mean, maybe unless you have a really nice dick that he'd like to suck, then he might, but he's not going to hang out with you in real life. He's a Chad master. Okay, you're just a simp. Because somehow this public admission of repulsion seems to have no tangible effect on the desperate simps who compose their audience. No, it They're doesn't. They're happy to just overlook every red flag and continue throwing thousands of dollars at right. these prostitutes to maintain their deluded, warped girlfriend experience that somehow includes an online chat room with hundreds of other dudes. The OnlyFans effect to sufficiently desperate people burning money to upkeep a delusion where you're told what you want to hear by some vaguely attractive online thought becomes more important than anything, even when the lie is staring you right in the face. What I'm getting at here is that the Manosphere, in particular the pickup artist and masculinity guru corner of the Manosphere, has basically just become only fans for male cam whores. Yes. That's what Jack Murphy is. Both yes. Both literally and figuratively. Yes. Jack Murphy is a conservative cosplay cam whore. Yes. He is fucking cosplaying. And I can tell you this, I'd rather look at Belle Delphine cosplaying than Jack Murphy any day. By the way, let me mention again, Belle Delphine, genius, sold her bathwater, simps paid money for Once again, I can't make fun of her. I can't. She didn't go to anyone's house and be like, buy my bathwater or I'm going to shoot your bunny rabbit. Those simps did that of their own free will. The woman is a fucking genius. She probably blew all the money immediately. I bet she didn't save any of it. But I got nothing in the world against Belle Delphine. She's a fucking genius. She's a marketing genius. I mean, relatively, for a woman, she's a genius. And that, my friends, is how his scam was able to flourish completely unquestioned. The Manosphere is now only fans. Yes! Jack Murphy was clearly not who he said he was, but he told desperate simps matter. what they wanted to hear. Right! And just like the denizens of OnlyFans, his subscriber base were more than happy to overlook every glowing bright red flag and keep throwing money Shadow into the energy. world to maintain their feel-good delusion of eventual alpha ascension. <laughs> now, this segues <laughs> into the second far greater issue. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've only watched this video once. Hold on, hold on. Jack to brunch. We're going to go to brunch. I'm going to brunch with Jack. His subscriber base were... How to confront masculine shadow energy with Mike Chernovic. Okay, that explains so much. How to confront masculine shadow energy. Shadow energy. 
Once again, if we just said how to confront feminine shadow energy, if a woman was doing whatever, a podcast called How to Confront Feminine Shadow Energy, we would all laugh at that. We would fall over sideways with laughter. We'd be rolling on the ground. But when this bald-headed bearded Jew does it, you know, he, he's an icon of the fucking manosphere. He's going to teach you how to be masculine. He's going to show you for $99 a month, you can learn how to confront masculine shadow energy. How, how do you not see through this? More than happy to overlook every glowing bright red flag and keep throwing money into the well Jack to maintain brunch. their feel good We're going delusion to brunch with the masculine Chad Master. Now, this segues into the second far I'd rather, greater issue. Now, go to brunch with Belle Delphine? Yes, I would do that in a heartbeat. That I don't see being broadly discussed. All right, the real issue here, here is not here Jack go. Murphy himself, right. nor is it his cuck past right. or his gay porn right. or the surprisingly massive scale of his financial scam. Right. The real issue the real. is the environment itself, which yes. allowed so-called masculinity expert Jack Murphy to flourish and grow. Uh, yes. You know, I love a good meme. It's very funny to honk honk at OnlyFans cam whores crying that they can't find a good man. And, yes. you know, Democrats fleeing to red states and the ongoing circus of COVID restrictions. Yes. Well... The rapid rise and I guess subsequent downfall of Jack Murphy is living proof that Clown World is very much alive and well in mainstream conservative circles oh, too. Oh, absolutely. The question is, how deep does this problem go? Like All the I way said, to the bottom. Jack Murphy was basically cosplaying, and I think that says a lot about the conservative community that popular mainstream personalities... Homosexual, homosexual, and homosexual. I'm sorry, guys. I'm calling it like it is. We're doing philosophy. The guy on the left, I think that's Tim Pool. That's a homosexual. Don't don't ask me how I know. You, I can look at. It's gaydar, right? It's like when you look at, you figure out is it a tranny or is it really a woman? That's a homosexual. The guy in the middle, that's what's his face. The the guy, he's an admitted homosexual. And the gay guy on the right, that's what's his face, Blaze, right? I mean, look at him. Look at those lips. I mean, and look, the facial hair. Guys, the facial hair. Guys, excuse me. The facial hair is a fucking giveaway. This is three homosexuals. Like Tim Pool, Dave Rubin, and the rest of Glenn Beck's Blaze TV crew couldn't tell the difference between a cosplayer and the real thing. And that's because they are cosplayers. Like women, they can't recognize themselves in other people. It's no surprise to me that these people couldn't recognize this guy as a fraud because they're all frauds. They think that what is fraud, they think that what is cosplaying is real. And his brand wasn't just being allowed to grow unquestioned. He was being actively promoted by these people. This that, to me, podcasts. says a lot about the modern mainstream conservative community and the manosphere. Right. They're completely unable or unwilling to police their own. Just like with women who keep dating all these men that treat them like shit and abuse them and all this other stuff. And yet the women keep dating T. Rash because they're either unable or unwilling to police their own behavior. How deep does this go? That's a great After picture. After all, Jack Murphy was but one man in an ever-growing calamity of modern masculinity self-help alpha dating experts. And the more I see, the more they all appear to be just as suspect as each other. Murphy wasn't even the only masculinity life coach to get very publicly and... Oh, and then the whole life coach. There, there's another clue, guys. Anyone who calls themselves a life coach, that's a giant fucking clue very embarrassingly caught out recently. Only a month ago, you had Fresh and Fit, a dating and pickup channel with over half a million subscribers, which isn't really that much, getting exposed by various other YouTubers for utilizing sugar daddy websites. That is trading money for sex, you know, like actual prostitution. Okay, remember though, all men trade money for sex, so, once again, I, I'm being honest with you. I, 
if you have the money to go to a sugar baby website and buy sex with a woman, I I really can't. I, that I cannot critique. Well, I mean, I can critique. I can't critique it negatively. I mean, if I could afford it, I, that's what I would do. I would. If I had the money to buy women off sugar baby websites, I would do it. The only reason I don't do it is because I can't afford it. If I sucked Jack uh, Napier, or whatever his name is, I don't, we're talking about the guy in the video, I don't even remember his name. If I sucked Jack's dick, right, and got that million dollars, the first thing I would buy would be mouthwash, and then I would go to a fucking, on the internet, and I'd look for a sugar baby website, and I'd buy a fucking young girl. So I can't really fault the guys for this, but then the part where they have this website where they claim that they're going to teach you how to meet women, well, that's that's pretty suspect. But I need evidence, you know? I can't really just say anything about it unless... Wait a second. I just got a notification on Facebook. Okay, I don't know why I just got this random link. Let's see who this girl is. Wait, wait a second. Wait just a second. Wait a second. Personality is key. See, I... I'm a very big personality person. He's right. I'm not a materialistic person at all. I could be if I wanted to. Right, because you were just you were just hired off of a fucking cam horse site. Okay, so let's do this right now. So these fresh and fit guys, I'd heard of these people before, but I've never seen any of their stuff. So I come over to their YouTube channel, and okay, so these guys are gonna teach you how to pick up uh, girls among other things. And this is the guy I was talking about. I watched the video about you know how to meet girls at the gym and like i said everything i heard the guy say is true but so here's look so this is them sitting around with a bunch of women talking now here's the first thing do you see any women in here that you would fuck because i don't secondly why do i want to listen are men intimidated by successful women why are there women in the room first of all this is what i'm talking about are men intimidated by successful women? The answer is no. This video, how long is this video? Does it does it tell us in the fucking two hours and fifty-one minutes? Two hours fifty-one minutes. Are men intimidated by successful women? No. We're finished. What is the other two hours, 51, 50 minutes and 73 seconds? What? Why do you, why are women talking? I am not going to listen to a, here's a nut. Look, it's a bunch of women. All, and, and this is staged. These women are all being paid to be there. These are not, this is not what women do. Do you know any women? I bet you do. It doesn't matter if you would fuck them or not. They're women. Okay. You know, some women. Do you, any of the women you know, do they go hang out for three hours and talk to a bunch of guys about things like, are men intimidated by successful women? Do you know any women who do this? No, this is not what women do. These women, every one of them are getting paid. Men are insecure and small dick energy debunked. Again, look, there's a, it's a bunch of women. I'm not going to take advice from women about women. I have no interest in this. What is this shit? It's a, more women. These are all women getting paid. All of these women are getting paid money to be here. They are not doing this for free. It's women. It's women. It's all women. They're all unattractive. I mean, they're hideous. Look at these. Look at this. Look at that thing in the middle. Would you fuck that? Jesus Christ. These women are hideous. I, if this is, if you're trying to tell me that these are women you've pulled, and I haven't watched, I don't know if they're claiming these are women they fucked, or if they're being honest about the fact that all these women are, I mean, look at that. That right there. Would you fuck that? Would you, would you, would you fuck that right there? Right? I don't know what these, what they're saying these women are doing here, like they're, why they're, what their explanation is for why these women are in their videos. Really, Rolo Tomasi. 
You you embarrassed yourself by hanging out. God damn. See, and here we go. This is it's hard to take anybody in the sphere seriously anymore. Can Rolo Tomasi really not vet this and figure out what's going on here? He's, he's Rolo Tomasi. He doesn't need the attention. Did they pay Rolo Tomasi to be on their show like they paid all these whores? I mean, I don't know. I'm just... Men and women think totally different. Wow, is that that's really not a video I need to watch. Once again, if you don't know that, you should probably just move on. Look at this. It's three women talking from a sad single feminist to happy, married, and feminine. Okay, so if any of these women are happy, married, and feminine, why are they on your show? Why aren't they at home with their husbands? I mean, this is this is just a cursory look at this will tell you this is bullshit. I love you. Just like, you know what? A new girl. I'll smash, but I love I mean, my girl look, back at home. Who, so would it's you like, fuck that? Like, oh, I cheated I on my girl. Yes. So I'm more like, eh, would you fuck either uh, so of what? them? I'll go to my girl. Wow. No, yeah, but, but then, for, but for, the for, ironic huh? thing is they have like an emotionless thing towards that. But it's like if if a girl cheats, suddenly they're like heartbroken. Question mm. for you: How are you gonna hold on? If you had a if, if you had a man, right? And you loved yeah. him. Would you cheat on him? Yes. Mm, most likely not. Bulls, why? So, so you're paying this woman to lie. Right. Of course, okay, right, because exactly. women don't so cheat on their men. Out of the blue. Yeah. They won't need a reason, emotional tug to make that choice, and then mentally they're, they're done with the guy anyway. Yeah. So for guys, it's like, we could cheat, so to speak, I say the options, because we just could bust a nut and then go back to our girl. Because we don't have that emotional tug to say, hey, you know what? I'm done with my girl, I'm going to go over here. So like, kind of, you that's probably though, because just... you haven't, you know, bonded a friendship with your female. You haven't bonded yeah. a friendship, nah. a friendship, a friendship nah. with your female. See, see. Subconsciously, a friendship with your female, guys. For that same reason, because in the end of the day, it's you still have a feminine nature to you. Yes. Are you a man? You no. have you have you so have so a so feminine so nature tell, to you, guys. You, you, this is your you this is your dating advice. Man, I mean, come on. All right, we're done with this. Would you take advice on anything from these people? I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you Can you explain what, what's on the screen? Her getting cash apped. <laughs> However, for you, that's that's true. For me, it's not. I actually have game, bro, right? Yes, game. game. Look yes. at your alpha male dating coach. <laughs> no, no, <it's>, <laughs> ass game. He's hiring hookers off the internet. He's got game. He's got game, dog. He's got game. And for $99 a month, dog, you could get in on his game. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if these guys have have a website. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I get this over here. Uh, where, why can't I get to the fucking... Why can't I get to their fucking homepage? I want to know if they have a membership program. All right, hold on. Fresh and fit. Uh, YouTube, Fresh and Insta. Of course, there's an Instagram. It's going to be... Do, do you have like a website? Wait, it'll be on the Insta thought. They have Patreon, of course. Ladies, DM to apply as a guest. Right. I, once again, I, 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 you're getting opinions. They have merch, YouTube. I just want to know, do you have a place where I can pay you money to coach me? That's, that's what I'm really interested in. One-on-one -on -one coaching <laughs> with Fresh. Wait, his name is actually Fresh, and the other guy's name is actually Fit. DMs on demand Instagram course. We'll teach you how to. <laughs> oh my God. One on one video coaching. One hour for $1,000. There it is. <laughs> Bye. There it is. An hour for a thousand bucks. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Just pure laughter. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't know you. At which point, Fresh and Fit desperately tried to protect their brand by utilising false DMCA claims to flag and take down any video criticising them. Of course they, they did. They apologised to us for some of the comments that they made in regards to Preach Significant Other. And then afterwards, today recently, they decided to copyright claim the video that we did in response to their apology. So, <laughs> so imagine being like, yeah, you know, we fuck up, we take accountability, we're sorry, okay? You know, we're like, oh, this is how we feel about your apology. Copyright claim. I'm <laughs> not gonna give you guys the oxygen to talk about you and say your name and give you the clout that you want. We're gonna hit you where it hurts. All right? Make videos on us. There's consequences to it. You there's know consequences. <laughs> so there's... alpha, bro. I'm so Much alpha, dog. Jack... Right. See, there's consequences to criticizing me because I can't. Well, if somebody criticizes me on the internet, let's say that there's somebody out there. Let's use me as an example because I'm my favorite topic. Let's say there's somebody out there whose life is so empty that they want to go to the trouble of making a video to criticize me. Guys, just make sure you spell my name right. I'm not going to fucking DMCA your ass because I'm not a fucking homo. If what you say is true, then I deserve the criticism. If what you say isn't true, I don't give a shit. Lol Cal Murphy, the DMCA drama quickly overtook the more important issues about the questionable product. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that was Better Bachelor. Did Better Bachelor do a video on these guys that got taken down? So alpha, bro. Much the same as Jack Lol Cal Murphy, the DMC. Better Bachelor. Better Bachelor. He, oh, so, so it looks like he did do a video about this. I should probably go look that up just to see what Joker has to say. Joker's a fairly rational, intelligent guy. I mean, he's, I, you know, I mean, he's in the sphere. He has to be suspect because I'm just being honest with you. Every, they're all suspect at this point. I, they're, they're all suspect of being grifters at this point. I'm not saying they all are grifters, but I'm saying that they have to be considered grifter until proven innocent. It's a great one. What about you? Well, I'm not in the red pillosphere. I'm in the encaposphere. But once again, I'm fine with that. If you want to consider me a grifter until I prove otherwise, I have no problem with that. I don't want you to be stupid. I don't want you to... I, how many times over the years have I said, don't just blindly believe any shit that I say? Uh, what's, hold on. I'm going to write this title down real quick. I want to go find this Better Bachelor video. Copyright strikes on channels that challenge your ideas. All right, I, I will go. I want to go look that up. CA drama quickly overtook the more important issues about the questionable product these fraudsters were shilling in the first place and the fact that they're scared. And, and, and hold on, number one men's podcast in the world. Where'd you get those metrics from? How, how do you know that? Money Monday, Womanizer Wednesday, Fitness Friday. See, we made it rhyme. It's alliteration. We're like women. If we can come up with cutesy little rhymes. I mean, that's gayer than fuck. That's that right there. That's fucking gay. Money Monday. Womanizer Wednesday. Fitness Friday. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, great one. You have Volleyball Girl Monday. You have Supergirl Wednesday. And you have Redhead Friday. Yeah, but none of those rhyme. None of those are alliterated. I know this isn't rhyming. It's alliteration. Okay? We, we know what I'm saying here. We're not retarded at this podcast. I don't do alliteration because I'm not a homosexual. Had been allowed to go unquestioned, growing to the tune of 500,000 gullible subscribers. The scam is so blatant that I just find it amazing. These self-professed dating and life coaches are life telling coach. you that the reason you're not getting laid is because your game isn't good enough, but evidently the game they're selling you doesn't actually work for them either because right. they're not they running game, they're out fucking hookers and paying for those hookers with the very money they earned selling you their fake game nonsense. Yeah. And I joked about it earlier, but the meme dating advice from these clowns is literally to maintain frame, bro. Frame, bro. 
<laughs> Frame, bro. The more you see, the more you realize that this whole cottage industry of masculinity coaching is a giant fucking facade full of wannabe alpha frauds selling a fake ideal that they can't even live up to themselves. I can't remember. Right, and I agree. Once again, did you see any woman in any of those videos that you would fuck? I hope not. I hope your standards are higher than that. I really, truly do. I don't remember who originally said it, but I do recall way back in the day, somebody commenting on the famous life coach and motivational speaker, Tony Robbins. They made the rather apt point that Robbins didn't get rich and successful by actually applying any of the techniques he advises other people to follow. Right. He got rich and successful by selling tickets to motivational speaking seminars. Yes. That is what Tony Robbins is good at. He is a successful public speaker. Right. And unless you're going to be a public speaker, there's some... I've talked about Tony Robbins before. Tony Robbins has said some things that make sense. Just like the Fresh Fit video. The guy talked about meeting girls. The stuff he said made sense. But it's not something... It's not something to pay for. And it's not something that he figured out on his own. And given the quality of women that you see in the videos with him, it's not something that he can apply... And do anything with it, like have sex with attractive women. And unless you're going to join in on the pyramid scheme and become a motivational speaker yourself, there is actually very little that you can usefully apply to your own life with the expectation that you'll become as successful as Robbins is. Ironically, this conundrum was also a major subplot in Neil Strauss's famous 2005 pickup artist book, The Game. As soon as people realized that there was money to be made, every fucking nobody PUA on the internet started marketing themselves as a dating coach, and yes. the whole community quickly deteriorated into a giant circle jerk of know-nothing fakers all scamming each other almost 20 years later, and apparently we've learned nothing. Nothing. And I don't know, maybe you're sitting back thinking, well, my life coach, alpha bro, masculinity guru is different. Yes, He's yes, yes. My bearded, ball-headed guy who charges $99 a month is different from the other bearded, ball-headed guy that charges $99 a month. The real deal. Look... The downfall of Jack Murphy is hilarious, yes. but if that's what you focus on, you'll miss the bigger picture. The most egregious thing about the situation was not Jack Murphy's cuckoldry or fresh and fit paying hookers. The most egregious thing is the scam masculinity life coach industry, which allowed their scams right. to grow and develop unquestioned in the first place. Right. Just look at Richard Cooper by comparison. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at Richard Cooper. Now... Full disclosures, okay? I don't know Rich Cooper. I haven't interacted with Rich Cooper. I've watched some of Rich Cooper's videos. I watched a couple of them in re re researching this. I watched a couple of his recent videos. He did a video where he talked about how you don't like tell your woman about your problems because your woman doesn't want to hear about your problems. Your woman wants you to be her rock. If you're coming home and telling your woman about how Kevin in sales is an asshole and he hurts your feel feels and stuff, she's going to be fucking somebody else pretty soon. Okay. So again, Richard Cooper, I, of the few videos of his that I've watched, I've watched a few videos. I mean, he's not wrong. I've never heard Richard Cooper say anything that I can recall offhand where I went, oh my God, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. He's also hasn't said anything that you shouldn't already know by this point, right? Yes, women don't want to hear your problems. Women do not want to be your emotional tampons. There we go. There's another one, 25 ways to be a man. Don't use the woman you're fucking for an emotional tampon. If you do, you're not going to be fucking her anymore, okay? So the, the information that I have personally have heard Rich Cooper say in the very tiny amount of videos of Rich Cooper's that I've watched is generally on target. So he's, he's not wrong, but let's go forward. He hasn't been exposed as a cuck or a yet. purveyor of prostitutes yet. 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 But just look at him. Look the at same him. bald head, big beard, suit, the fucking aviators. The avi he and, he, and he's right about this, the fucking aviators. Once again, along with the facial hair, and there's Andrew Tate. Okay, let's let's talk about my buddy Andrew Tate. Oh my god. 
Right. So let, let's review. The first time I heard of Andrew Tate is when he was on The Dick Show. And I've told all this story before, so I'm going to try to give the short version. And Andrew Tate starts talking on the dick show, and I'm like, this guy sounds like a fucking douchebag faggot. Okay, because just, because yo, dog, the way he talks, like, I'm Andrew Tate, dog, yo. And, but then, all right, so I started listening to what he's actually saying about women. And I'm like, well, okay, the man's got some points here. I mean, he's not wrong. And this is the thing. Here's another thing. Let me say this because I'm saying, well, Andrew Tate's not wrong. And I'm saying, well, Richard Cooper is not wrong. Here's the, once again, this is the thing. They're just repeating the same shit. All of them. The fresh and fit guy talking about picking up girls at the gym. He's not wrong. But they're just saying the same stuff. It's literally Hitler. Guys, literally Hitler. This is like me coming on this podcast and telling you that water runs downhill. This is like me telling you the government is inefficient. This is like me telling you that the Wuhan pandemic is fake. I mean, when you sit here and say, well, don't use your woman for an emotional tampon. Richard Cooper did not figure that out on his own. Okay? If Richard Cooper knew that, he wouldn't be divorced. That the fresh and fit guy did not figure out that you can start a conversation with a girl by going up and saying to her something that isn't true about her. Like, uh, you know, his example is if she looks like she's from Venezuela, you go up and you say, hey, you look like you're from Puerto Rico. And then she can be like, I'm not from Puerto Rico, I'm from Venezuela, right? Because she's going to correct you and she gets engaged in a conversation with you. That is 100% legitimate, Okay, he didn't invent that. He read that on the internet. Rich Cooper read on the internet not to use your woman as your emotional tampon. None of these people invented this shit. Andrew Tate's the same fucking thing. Andrew Tate's saying a bunch of shit that's true, but he didn't invent any of this. And then, hold on, let's, let me find it. Let me find it. Because Andrew Tate, to me, Andrew Tate is the biggest example of the fucking cosplaying OnlyFans. Andrew Tate. Uh, no, is it a Cobra Tate? Yes. Come on. I want the Instagram. I want the Insta thought. I want the Insta thought because this is going to be the proof. Instagram. Cobra Tate. Insta thought. There it is. I mean, this looks exactly like a woman's Instagram feed. Look, here's pictures, selfies of me. Look, here's me in some city where some fucking Arab flew me out there to have butt sex with me. You know, here's me in somebody's motorcycle. Well, look at my cool car. I mean, here, look, here's me at the gym. I mean, this is a fucking woman. This is a woman. This is Cobra Tate cosplaying as James Bond. He did the fucking video that I made fun of where he's like, I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. I'm practically James Bond, dog. I got drive around. I got the cars. I got the women. And all of the... All right, let me see if I can find this. All of the fucking... Again, he's, he's got all these pictures of him with uh, whores. Co wait, oh, oh. Why did I put Andrew? Cobra Tate. That's what I need. Cobra Tate, live what you dream. Insta thought. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, pictures. Let me see if I can just find this picture real quick. Odds are I can't. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this. Okay, look. See that? That's a photo shoot. That that's just these. These are not women. He's fucking. That's staged. Let me see if I can find this one picture. Oh, come on. Could I get so lucky? No. Apparently, he's a chess player. Which, again, yeah, fine, but it's... it's No. But, I mean, it, it's all staged. Cobra Tate is literally a fucking cam whore. He's staging this stuff. He's cosplaying all of this shit so that simps will give him money. Cobra Tate did not figure out that women are poopy heads on his own. None of these guys have figured this stuff out on their own. And yes, between the fucking facial hair and the goddamn aviators, that is probably a larger indicator of homosexuality than actually sucking a dick.
absolute clowns come off some automated factory production line somewhere charging fifty dollars a minute for private coaching calls that's okay once again once again if somebody's willing to pay rich cooper fifty dollars a minute i can't blame the man take their money it's like Belle Delphine. If someone's going to pay Belle Delphine for her bath water, she's stupid not to do it. So I don't blame Rich Cooper for doing this. He's just seeing an opportunity to make money. God bless the man. But who are the fucking simps? And here's the thing. this is We're back to the people, the commoners, for lack of a better word. I don't really say that to degrade them. I just don't have a better word for it because I'm making this up as I go along. The commoners in the red pillosphere, just like the commoners in the only fans sphere, they're so desperate for attention. They're so desperate to simp for somebody that they're going to see as their girlfriend or their mentor. That they're with somebody. And now just because he charges $50 a minute doesn't mean anyone's paid it. Again, let's keep that in mind. We, we, you and I, I mean, I, I don't know about you. I personally have no evidence that anyone has ever actually paid Rich Cooper $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone. But if anyone would do that, that is just the most desperate simp on the planet earth. And that's what the red pill sphere has become. It's become as the person who made this video is pointing out, it is only fans. It's desperate simps who want a girlfriend experience. They want a mentor experience. They want a life coach experience. And I'm telling you, I can sum this up in 25 fucking points if I sit down and put my mind to it. Excuse me, I just burped in the microphone. I I can sum this up in 25 fucking points. It can't possibly, it's not that difficult three thousand dollars an hour even pretending that he is every bit as alpha as he claims what could he possibly tell you over the phone that's worth three thousand dollars an hour now that's also a legitimate question if rich cooper can get fifty dollars a minute by god he should get it because stupid people have money for the purpose of giving it to smart people but this is also a legit question what what in fuck's name can Rich Cooper tell you that's worth $50 a minute? What? Even if Richard Cooper isn't hiding a skeleton closet full of gay cuckery, and I do seriously wonder, the important thing to consider is that Cooper didn't get rich and successful from being alpha bro, just like every- Right, he's divorced. Everyone else in this pyramid scheme, he got rich scamming money off desperate lonely men by telling them what they, they wanted want to, to hear. hear. As if it even needs to be explicitly stated, anyone claiming they have the secret to masculinity or life or whatever, which they're willing to share for a sizable fee, should be treated with the utmost trepidation. Like the term red flag does not even begin to describe the situation. In short, do not trust these people. It possibly warrants an entire video on its own, but our Lord and Savior Jordan B. Peterson. Oh, all praise, Jordan B. Peterson. Squarely into this category as well. If he's got all the answers, as his fanboys claim, why is his life such a fucking disaster? Then why is his life in constant <laughs> shambles? Drug addict, constant mental breakdowns. Yep. He had to be put in an induced coma last year. Rain an absolute train absolute whore of a daughter absolute fucking whore in wreck whore of a daughter and this is who we're going to take advice from about living a stable fulfilling life i don't know i guess he just for the record i would bang his daughter just i mean she's kind of cute she's not that hot i would bang her because she's hot enough and I would like just I just be able to say i banged jordan peterson's daughter didn't clean his room enough right A friend posted this gem in Discord the other day, and I think it perfectly sums up a lot of the problems I've talked about here. Okay, let me jump in this real quick, so especially for those of you who have memory. So let's talk about tactical soap. And, and he'll tell the story too, but let me just tell the story. So Rich Cooper sells tactical soap. And he get well, not, I don't think he personally 
sells it. He's like an affiliate, whatever, right? So you buy the tactical soap through his link. He gets a cut. So many moons ago, uh, well, back before Wuhan, back when I had disposable income, which I don't anymore because, you know, I lost my job because of a fake pandemic. Thanks, boomers. Thanks, women. But it's okay because when the, you know, when the backlash finally comes, you're going to get what you deserve. You know, in, in the past, because I've known about Rich Cooper for many, many years, and when I saw Rich Cooper pimping this, I went over there, I looked at it, and so the shtick here is that it's got the pheromones in it, and it's going to you know affect women. Oh yeah, I'm looking at this, I'm going, look, it's soap. It's kind of pricey, but I'm willing to try it, and I, let me be very clear, I'm not dumb enough to think I'm going to use the soap and women are going to have sex with me because they're going to smell the pheromones, all right? I'm not that gullible. But I knew that I was buying overpriced soap. I bought overpriced soap because Rich Cooper was pimping it. And I'm like, I'll give it a shot. And, you know, Rich will get a little kickback and I'll get some soap. And I mean, the soap, the one I bought was the Bond, which is black. I mean, it's black soap. It's just kind of cool. You got some black soap. All right, so I didn't buy this soap, and I, I'm being honest because I don't have any skeletons in my... You guys know everything about me, all right? I spend $400 on Supergirl comics. I have a pink stuffed rabbit, right? You, you're not going to dig into my life and find out that I've had gay sex. You guys know every embarrassing thing there is to know about me. There's nothing here for you to find out. I bought some of this soap. That's pretty fucking embarrassing. But also, it, it was just soap. You wash your body with it. Overpriced? Yes. Women buy overpriced soap all the fucking time at the little specialty stores. It kind of wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't buy into the part about the pheromones and women are going to jump your bones. I just bought the soap because it was, it's called Bond and it's called Tactical and it's kind of cool and Rich Cooper was selling it and I had disposable income. So I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I'll try it. So I have bought Tactical Soap. I just want to get that out there. I want everyone to know that I have bought Tactical Soap in the past. Now, he's, I'm just going to let him tell the story. Because, see, the Durden thing, I don't. I didn't have no idea who that is. I didn't know anything about the, the, the background that's coming up. So just listen. Yeah. This is Tactical Pheromone Soap, basically the modern-day pickup artist incarnation of centuries-old charlatans trying to sell you special secret love potion that will make all women swoon for you. If you're stupid enough to buy this, then I don't think any amount of game is going to help you, and yet apparently enough stupid people fall for this that it's currently sold out. Quote, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I just noticed this. I don't remember... Warranty? W w wait, what, what warranty? You can buy a warranty on soap? W what is that? <laughs> what? 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 What is that? Okay, I just, I want you to know, guys, I bought some soap. I did not purchase the warranty on the soap. A warranty on soap. I mean, how how do you how do you not look at this and see the charlatanism? How do you not? I mean, if you just said, "Look, we're selling you some some homemade soap, and it's expensive." Okay, I mean, like I said, it worked on me to that extent, but a warranty? And now he's going to tell you about the pheromones. Hold out. Quote, Tactical soap is a line of soaps infused with proprietary <laughs> bioidentical pheromone formulas. <laughs> partnered with a clinical psychologist and pheromone expert to create formulas <laughs> that are targeted at specific traits that are most attractive to the opposite sex. You'll notice that they said pheromone expert and not biochemist or PhD researcher. This is because a, a, what they a, are talking about... A pheromone expert. Is that like a crystal healer? I mean, what? Once again, come on. It, it's... They're, they're, that's the thing. Yeah, I bought the soap, but I was just buying soap. I didn't believe the sales shtick. 
How many men are buying this soap and they believe that? They actually, there's pheromones in it that are going to make women attracted to me. If you believe that, you're a simp. But don't reels. The actual scientific consensus is still out on whether human pheromones exist at all, and if they do exist, whether it has an appreciable effect on human mating practices. To the extent- Yes, pheromones exist. It's called money. That there does seem to be evidence that natural body odor matters, it seems to indicate things like immune system compatibility between individuals to promote genetic diversity of the species. You can't just target specific traits that are most attractive to the opposite sex. That don't reels, what they are describing here is a magical love potion. That don't reels. Nonetheless, what really amazes me about this product is not so much the blatant scam elixir itself, but the implications of naming a soap bar after Tyler Durden. Like, did they just think to themselves, Tyler Durden's a popular alpha chad- Okay, now what is that? I don't know who Tyler Durden is. If that's Tyler Durden, once again, that's a homosexual. The, the person in this picture, not the bald guy, of the, 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 that guy with the glasses, that's a homosexual. That I've heard of, and then not give any further thought to the Paper Street Soap Company? I have no idea what the Paper Street, whatever this movie is, I've never seen this movie before, so all of this was news to me. Tonight, we make soap. Really? The salt element has to be just right, so the best fat for making soap comes from humans. Wait, what is this place? A liposuction clinic. Richest, creamiest fat in the world. Fat of the land. Tyler sold this soap to department stores at $20 a bar. God knows what they charged. This is the best soap. Why, thank you, Susan. It was beautiful. We were selling rich women their own fat asses back to them. I think one of two things is true here. Either the implications of this product name somehow went straight over the creator's heads, or they knew exactly what they were doing and they are making fun of you. My bet is on the latter. I'll My bet making is that fun just like also. the OnlyFans cam whore admitting that she'd never date a fan, these scammers are not so subtly telling you that when you buy this scam soap, your own fat ass is being sold back to you. In either case, I would suggest that there are better things to spend your money on than giving it to these people. If you buy into this crap, if you buy these soap bars, if you pay $99 a month to join an exclusive, super secret chat room like the Liminal Order, you are getting straight up fucking swindled. Honestly, let's just exercise a little bit of common sense for a minute. We are not talking about centuries old aristocratic secret societies here. It's not the Freemasons. 10 years ago, none of these organizations existed and all of these life coaches were absolute fucking nobodies. Losers. The so-called experts and coaches and gurus peddling their exclusive online chat rooms, <coughs> cults, which supposedly bestow the ancient secrets of masculinity, learned everything that they know sometime in the last decade or so for free on the internet. Exactly. There is literally nothing that Richard Cooper can sell you that you can't get for free off Google, Reddit, and YouTube because that's where he got all of his information from. Are you really going to pay $50 a minute for that? If he actually had any truthful, honest, useful advice for men at all, it would be don't give your hard-earned money to online scam artists like me. I mean, this guy calls his organization Entrepreneurs in Cars, and like some basic bitch insta thought, he yep. just loves posing in front of expensive vehicles to impress his simp subscriber base. And yeah, look at that picture. I mean, that's, that's the picture that's on every woman's Instagram. Guess who ultimately bankrolled that lifestyle of his? At $3,000 an hour, you could have a few phone calls with this asshole, or you could quite literally go out and buy your own Harley Davidson. The modern manosphere has basically become only fans for these masculinity cam whores, and no joke, they are laughing at you all the way to the bank with millions stuffed in their pockets. Richard Cooper, Jack Murphy, Fresh and Fit et al. are the literal Bella Delphines of masculinity who got rich selling simps their dirty bathwater. Now, 
I'm not saying that there's anything inherently wrong with selling a product, but holy shit guys, caveat emptor. If you work hard to earn a living, then think hard about what it's best spent on. Do not become another internet simp for these soulless fucking cam whores. I agree. It, the man of fans, look, there, there's not, I'm not making the argument that none of these people should be allowed to sell what they're selling. I'm making the argument you shouldn't buy it. Yo, what's up, doggy dogs? Yo, we're here to maintain frame, dog. Yo, we're going to maintain some frame. All right, so I did the video you just watched or the podcast you just listened to. I did that yesterday. And I'm sitting here. It's the next morning. I'm sitting here, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, I want to I do a little follow-up here because I want to be very, very clear about some stuff. And we're going to use Rich Cooper because he came up in this guy's video and he's the person that we we're talking about. And I made fun of him with the aviators and the and everything. And yes, I do think there's a strong chance that he's homosexual or bisexual or whatever. But all of that, I want to put all that aside for a second. I'm going to be very serious. And I want to be very, I want to make sure that I am clear about what's going on here. Rich Cooper charging $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone is not the problem. Okay, number one, there is nothing objectively wrong with Rich Cooper charging $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone. Rich Cooper, like you and like me, has a finite amount of time in his life. And if him giving up a minute of his finite life to talk to some, and let's be honest about it, Anyone who wants to talk to Rich Cooper on the phone, who, anyone who thinks, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but anyone who thinks, well, I'm going to talk to Rich Cooper on the phone and he's going to solve my problems, okay? If that's your thought process, you're a fucking moron. Because let me, let me digress for a second. Guys, all, all of this stuff about, oh, I'm joining your secret society on the internet for $99 a month and you're going to teach me to be a man. Let's be brutally honest with ourselves for just one moment. All of us, all of us, unless we are complete, I mean, unless we are literally women, unless we are effeminate men who have no self-awareness, all of us know exactly what our problems are. Okay, there, there's no, I'm going to go talk to somebody else and figure out why I don't have money. No, you know exactly why you don't have money. You do. You know exactly why you don't have money. I'm going to go talk I'm going to go talk to somebody for $99 a month and figure out why I can't why I don't have a girlfriend. Okay? Let me use myself. I know exactly why the great one does not have a girlfriend. Number 1, I do not invest a sufficient amount of time in going out and approaching girls. I mean, that's the number 1 right there. In order to get a girlfriend, you have to approach girls and talk to them and find one who wants to date you. That takes a significant amount of time investment. I have not made that time investment. Right? It's not a secret. This is not something I need to pay $99 a month to have someone tell me. Well, well, but, well, but great one, but, but you could get, I mean, guys, no, and that's the thing. That we See, I'm way ahead of myself. I didn't want to go here yet. But all of these people doing this stuff, these are simps who are looking not just for some kind of emotional reassurance and emotional connection with their masculinity guru, but these are people looking for easy answers. There's nothing anybody on the internet can tell me about approaching women that I don't already know. I know why I don't have a girlfriend. I have not invested sufficient time. And sometimes when I see an attractive girl, I pussy out and don't approach her. And then sometimes when I approach, you know, I try to start a conversation and it falls flat because I say something really stupid or I can't think of something to say. But th there's no one on the internet who can give me answers to these things. I know what the fucking problems are, okay? 
The solution is for me to do the work. And that's what this is. This is people paying $99 a month to be in a secret society so they don't have to do the work. Right? So if someone wants to give Rich Cooper $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone. The reason that person wants to give Rich Cooper $50 a minute to talk to Rich on the phone is because that person does not want to do the work. That person knows exactly what his fucking problem is. He knows exactly what his deficiency is. He knows exactly what he has to do to make up for it. He doesn't want to do it. He wants to pay Rich Cooper to give him an out. He wants Rich Cooper to tell him something magic that's going to save him from having to do the work. That's all that's going on. Okay, Rich Cooper charging $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone. There is absolutely nothing about that which is wrong, which is immoral, which is fraudulent. That's Rich Cooper's time. He can charge whatever the fuck he wants to charge for it. Rich Cooper is not going to anybody's house and forcing them to pay him $50 a minute to talk to him on the phone. Okay, so the whores, the cosplayers in the only man's sphere, that's what we're calling it, only man's. I went, I looked, only man's, not only fans, only man's. Only man's.com is not available. I was so going to buy that. Only man's. That's what this is. This is only man's. Okay, the people in only man, just like Belle Delphine, there's nothing wrong. Belle Delphine selling her bath water. There is nothing wrong with that. I will not play or hate on Belle Delphine for one fucking moment. She saw a marketing advantage. She saw an opportunity to make money on simps and she took it. God bless the girl. Rich Cooper, he saw an opportunity to make money on simps and he took it. God bless the man. The burden, if we want to call it the burden, the, the fault, if we want to call it the fault, the blame, if we want to use the word blame. I'm not sure what the exact correct word is to use for this, okay? But it's not on the people who are selling this stuff in the only man sphere, right? They're, just, they're cosplaying. They're making, they're making money. Well, see, I'm jealous. I'm jealous as fuck. See, here's the thing. Rich Cooper is much smarter than I am when it comes to marketing and selling products. This is, I'm not being sarcastic. He, this is a very smart man. Rich Cooper has cultivated an audience of simps who are willing to give him money for emotional comfort. I can't do that. My, my audience won't give me money for their feelings. I mean, ho I mean, hello? There's no way my audience is going to pay me, you know, $99 a month. That's not Rich Cooper, okay? So, but, but I mean, what, my audience is not going to give me money to tell them shit they want to hear. I have not cultivated an audience of simps. I do not know how to do that. I do not have that ability. I don't have that skill set. That's a real thing. This is a real thing. Guys, Rich Cooper has cultivated an audience that gives him money to film himself driving around in cars like a goddamn woman. Okay, I can't do that. I don't have that ability. I have no idea how he did it, but he's a fucking genius. He's, he's just as smart. Belle Delphine, Rich Cooper, same fucking thing. Both of them cultivated an audience of simps willing to give them money for stupid shit. You can't play or hate Rich and Belle. They're smarter than us. None of us have figured this out. So the problem here in the only man sphere isn't the men selling masculinity and pretending that you know you're going to join their secret society and figure out how to control your frame and you're going to be the chad master and all this other stuff 
the problem is the people who are dumb enough to fall for this. So let's identify the real problem, you know, and let's focus on the real problem. I mean, in so much as I, great one, why are we going to focus on the problem? What are we going to do about it? I mean, you're right. That's a, why, why do we care? And that's a legit question. Why do we give a shit? Let's be honest. We give a shit because it's entertaining, because it's funny, because we like to make fun of these people. But there's nothing we can do about it. Simps are going to simp. And other people are going to take advantage of the simps. So I guess the best takeaway I can give you from this is you know, recognize the business model for what it is. And if there's a way you can tap in on taking money away from simps to give them emotional comfort... I mean, do it. Find a way to do it. There, there's nothing wrong. Rich Cooper is not a bad person. This weird Jack, whatever his name was, who was $99 a month. I mean, he's not a bad person. Sure, he's bisexual and he's got porn on the internet and stuff. But he's, once again, he's not like drinking the blood of babies and shit. Is he a cosplayer? Yes. Is he fake? Yes. Is, is he scamming people? <sighs> Uh, yeah. How do you define scam? I mean, is it really a scam? I mean, I'm asking, is it really? I mean, these people who are paying him $99 a month, I mean, they know what they know what they're getting. They know they're not stupid. And if they are stupid, then it's even less of a scam because I don't give a shit about taking money away from stupid people. So while, yes, I'll make fun of these people, a Cobra Tate, I'll make fun of him all day long for being a goddamn cosplaying poser. But once again, Cobra Tate, perfect example. This guy has cultivated an audience of total simps. I wish I could find this picture. I talked about it before of Cobra Tate. So you're playing chess with all these women standing around watching him play chess while they're, they're dressed immaculately with this perfect makeup. Because that's what women do, right? That is a completely staged photograph. How many times have you ever seen five women dressed in these uh, fantastic outfits with perfect makeup standing up in their high heels watching two men playing chess? Right? Never. You've never seen this in your life and you never will. It's a photo shoot. It's staged. It doesn't make him evil, but it does make him a cosplayer. It's cosplaying. It's fucking being an Instagram whore. It's only man's. It's selling emotions to simps. And the problem is not the people who sell the emotions and the feels to the simps. The problem is the simps.